many ways to create tests in Cognero. One way is to use the new test wizard to select random questions based on the question type. You can access the new test wizard by right-clicking a folder in the tests pane and then selecting New Test. You can select New Test from the Options menu in the Tests pane. Or you can select the Create a New Test link in the Editor pane. In the New Test Wizard, enter the test title and select the folder where you want to save your file. To create a test based on a mix of question types, select the first Build option and then click Next. The next step in building your test is to specify where you want to pull your questions from. You can pull questions from question sets or tests. As a general rule, you'll want to select questions from question sets. Think of a question set as a pool of questions and your test as a subset of those questions meant to evaluate students on a particular topic or skill. Most of the time, you will pull your questions from one or more question sets. However, Cognero also allows you to pull questions from existing tests as well. For example, suppose you have built a series of chapter tests and want to use them as the basis of a midterm. You could select questions from those tests you built previously. To select the source of your questions, expand the product folders to display the question sets. Then select the check boxes next to the question sets you want to use. Then click Next. If the questions are available in multiple languages, you can select which languages to include in the tests. The next dialog box displays a list of question types, the number of each type of question available, as well as the total number of questions available. When building a test based on the question type, there are a variety of ways you can select your mix of questions. You can allow the wizard to select the mix of question types by typing a number in the Automatically Select field and then clicking Select. The values in the Number Selected column will update automatically. If you don't like the mix of questions, you can click Select again to change the mix automatically. You can reset the mix of questions by clicking Clear. Instead of allowing the wizard to select the questions, you can enter a value in the Number Selected column manually. When you are satisfied with the mix of questions, click Next. The final step of creating a test is to review the test settings. You can click Back to make changes or click Finish to create the test. After the test is created, you can change the order of the questions, add more questions, and print your test. In addition to the question text and answers, Questions can contain other information, such as learning objectives, standards, and difficulty level, which you can use to build your tests. This table summarizes the available question information and how you can use it. For example, you could build a test based on a series of learning objectives, sort that test by difficulty level, and then view a report of the student's proficiency level on those objectives after they've taken the test. You can use the test wizard to build a test based on question information. To create a test based on question information, enter a test title and select the folder location where you want to save the test. Then select the second build option, which allows you to pull random questions based on question information. Select the question sets you want to pull your questions from. If the questions are available in multiple languages, select the languages you want to use. The next step is to select the question information you want to use. Click the Question Info list to select the question information you want to use to build your test. You can select from several standards and other question information. In this example, we'll build a test based on learning objectives. The new test wizard displays the available learning objectives, 
the number of questions tagged with a specific learning objective, and the number of questions we've selected. If you like, you can also filter the available questions by question type. For example, you could create a multiple choice test based on several learning objectives or standards. For this example, we'll select from all question types. To select your mix of questions, click the Edit link for the question information and enter a value in the Number Selected field. Then click Update. The number remaining column updates based on the number selected. A question can be tagged with multiple learning objectives and standards. If a question has multiple learning objectives or standards, the number remaining column will update to keep you from selecting the same question multiple times for different standards. In this example, we selected two questions for learning objective 1.1.1 and the number remaining for objectives 1.1.2 and 1.2.1 changed to zero because the questions we selected were also tagged with those learning objectives. Click Next to review the test settings. If you are satisfied with the test, click Finish to save your test or Back to make changes. The Test Wizard provides a flexible way to build tests automatically, and it's just one of the ways the Test Generator makes it easy to build dynamic assessments for your students.